with feminism, and I hope I'm translating this for her, okay? Her concerns with feminism, equality, have more to do with, can a woman hold a position in office? Does she have the freedom to choose? Now, when it comes to dating and other things like that, she prefers a guy who, who takes the traditional approach. That's how I'd explain it. Because kind of, I, I think that's what she's trying to say. But, you know, you can't take somebody who... Not everyone has the ability to articulate their thoughts in a cohesive manner, nor the verbose lexicon, the uh, you know, to, to, to explain their ideas in, in to the finest point. I think she's saying uh, and I think that women should be able to be politicians, CEOs, work in companies, all of that stuff that feminists have thought for the time, and that if they want to, in a date in a situation, have the man take the lead, they're allowed to do it. I actually find that kind of uh, uh, a good thing, right? Have women also get to choose, and then women who want a more traditional man have a more traditional man. I kind of feel like that's what she's saying. Because men have more bone density, men have more muscle mass. and probably a lot of this is wrong but i read uh several academic articles and the reason you end up shoveling. with a combination of with but he's not even shoveling he's not off the floor he's just shoveling and moving the snow around it might even be just an opportunity Not in the workplace, and men paying for the first date is the same thing. So it may be nice to be like women should be presidents, but also men should be the ones providing the resources. There's a bit of a, 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 a evolutionary contradiction in that. I think it can work out that way. I think the issue is individuals have a right to choose. It doesn't matter. Can you do the job? Then you can do the job, right? I think that's the most efficient way to do things. And the reason why we don't have the most efficient way of doing things or did for a long time is that, well, People ask you to see them, you don't ask to see them. Oh, Aria asked if she wanted to see them. Oh, I
Rebellion. We got the
We don't need to go down. Who lived here, I wonder?
Hold on one second. And... Thank you. 
With good reason. Does he still? Can't hurt me now. Revenge. Revenge. On my ninth birthday, I made the mistake of reaching for a piece of bread ahead of my dad at the dinner table. He used his hot poker to remind me that he eats first. I wondered how you'd go from that. There are times. Do 
for her now. Can I come? Mr. Thompson's busy, dear. Uncle Nucky. Get your coat, kiddo. Oh, my God. 
Well, who was it? The fellow got off on the wrong floor. He was drunk. The General Motors Convention. That's it. There's nobody else out there. When Nucky's in town, sell it to Warren. I'm sure you're quite the salesman. You know, Al Jolson agreed to write his campaign song. Eddie Cantor's better. <sighs> I'd love to hear from you. I'm just surprised, that's all. What a fella can call his mother once in a while. You can call me twice a day if you like. So lucky. He's out here for the convention. I'm assuming you heard what happened to his brother. Yeah, that was something, huh? I swear this world is going to hell in a handbasket. Yeah. You sound lonesome, baby. I was thinking of you. Are you eating? Yeah, of course. Why don't you come home, honey bun? I don't know.
So what can you tell me about this Luciano fellow? Well, where do I begin? Lucky! your message. Where are you going? Um, but the delegates haven't voted yet. Who's going to get all our ducks in a row? Why don't you ask Frank Haig? Haig? What's this all about? We've known each other a long time, Wally, so why don't you cut the crap? Wally? You're speaking to a United States senator. And that's all you'll ever be. You made a deal with Haig to fuck me over. Lucky, I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't insult me. It's just politics. I'll make it up to you later. Later when? When I'm in the White House. Senator, the only chance you have of entering the White House is on a guided fucking tour. Sad. Thank you. 
not just for your own sake, but also the sake of any offspring he may see fit to bestow upon us. Not only so that you may know him better, but walk more closely in his footsteps. Your devoted husband, Nelson. Hey! Come here. What are you doing? Nothing. You want to go out in like an hour and try to build a snowman?
But the cost is very high. And then on top, I must pay. Pay who? Mr. Thompson, of course. Oh, you mean the city? I am too rich. Now I must pay double. Everyone must. I have saved nothing, Marguerite. Or to run the show. I am a woman alone. You understand this? Here's one of those papers, Professor Shaw. You can speak for me. To the man who gives you his attention. I, uh, I wouldn't know what to say. Say that he's handsome. How happy he makes you. And how can you buy the things that make you pretty for him if there is no bad fun? Help me, Marguerite. You have power, you do not suspect. Oh, bonjour, madame. Uh -huh. Leave no stone unturned. You and your men wire every department from Philly to Pittsburgh. You should also write. Jesus. A little notice would have been nice. I sent a telegram. We have received nothing. I will call the Western Union to complain. I offer you coffee, but it looks like you already helped yourself. The train the dining car was out of service. You haven't been home? I thought I should see you first. Adam sent a mistake. So you're here. I assume you've accepted my offer. What conditions? My friend, Richard Harrow, you met him in Chicago? The man, the Iron Mask. He's a war hero. I'd like him to join me. What's under there? He's missing his cheekbone, his jaw. Basically, the whole left side of his face is gone. And he's still alive? Medicine, huh? A lot of fellas still alive probably shouldn't be. Well, I know a few myself. <laughs> the Lessio brothers have a feeling. Another condition. We keep what we discuss only between us. Wait outside. around the casino. I know Neil as well. Ignatius, Sixtus, Leo. We're all named after popes. Well, write right to Vatican. See if they know where they are. When I find them... This place has seen better days. What do you want me to do? You need me to spell it out? I'd like to hear you say it. Why? Politician to the last, huh? If you don't say it, you don't have to deny it. Hello, the more. Or are you just trying to kid yourself? About what? The fact that you're a murderer. Look, that is what you want me to do, right? Kill them. Ignatius. I'm Mickey Dolly. 
Honor, Mr. Rusty. Do you turn him I should. Oh, boy, what is it you've heard? Good stuff. Well, I'm honest. Which you always be swear to you. Sure. That's why we're here. Reputation takes a lifetime to build. Seconds to destroy. One less poacher in the wizarding world. There's a growing demand for good whiskey in the United States. Hello, Hamora. I'm not talking about the swill you've stirred up in your chamber pot. I'm talking about the best scotch from Britain. There's a fortune to be made from importing it. It'll be the chic thing to have good whiskey when you have guests. And the rich will vie with one another to serve it. I want to set up a business for importing scotch. We'll have ships with crews we can trust. We'll sail it from the distilleries in Europe and unload it outside the three mile limit. All we have to do is smuggle it ashore. That's where you want to come in. The ports of Atlantic City are ideal for distribution to the entire eastern seaboard. The only problem is the man who runs that city. Normally, I'd make a deal with such a man. Cut him in as a partner, but I find Nucky Thompson be greedy and unreasonable. Nothing a bullet in the eye will fix. Yeah. If you'll each sign those forms, I'll pick it as your acquiescence to our new arrangement. What are they? Life insurance policies. It's a half a million on each year. You'll be handling large amounts of my money, gentlemen. It's my assurance you won't chisel me. Think of it as an incentive, not to screw things up. To the worst. I'll show you up. thing is about the Bronx Zoo, Charlie. <laughs> 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 Certainly cheaper. Winning expensive. Not as expensive as losing. Revenge. Mr. Harding, you present. Come Playing the vote for him. I perhaps see you and not the most natural of mine. Cynthia! Come out. You don't like your good man, you No. It's not good to touch a baby. She says she's going to lose the shop. It's a pricey location. Apparently she's having trouble with the city. You should talk to her older. She did. She didn't help me. Maybe there's something the county treasurer could do. Did she ask you to bring this up? No. And why are we discussing it? She showed me a kindness and I thought to return it. I made her hire you, Margaret. 
kindness didn't come into it. Then you should recompense her for the burden you made her carry. Lewis. What did she tell you exactly? Only that the money she pays is increased. Revenue. It's more than she can afford. And she shouldn't be doing business in Atlantic City, because that's what it costs. But if you set the price... Margaret, this is not a suitable topic. I wasn't aware of that. Lumos. Lumos. What? It's a big picture of you and her. Fucker! Daenerys!
Vamos, relax. Revenge. Yes, I will. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Butler inquiring about a wire from James Darmody. They said it was passed on to you. Would you want to make a go? Oh my god. What is the meaning of this? Yeah, okay. I have it here. I'm not going to see it. I was going to give it to you. And why didn't you? Yeah. Arriving Thursday, 11 a.m. train. That was yesterday. Sorry, it slipped my mind. You're either incompetent or a liar. I won't stand for it either way, Agent Sepsol. We've been. I will long. not stand for it either way. Why was this hidden? Because I'd like to keep my job. Supervisor Elliot. He thinks we're being obsessive about the Hans Schroeder case, about Nucky Thompson. We have a witness that can place Darmody at the scene of the murders. I wasn't thinking. Kill a snake by cutting off the head. Agent steps off. The supervisor? Lucky Tom. Sure it's a big part of the killer Darmody gives him up this entire city. This stops him and cleans all of them. Let's have another baby. What do you say? You want a little brother Actually, chance? This is strong and table will be best to use when it's yeah. dark. Then it's settled. No, 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 he's likely studied here. Are you hungry? I'm not eating you for lunch. Okay. Maybe could you say it? Got any coffee left? I can manage 
close that. They won't find you. Is, but uh, I want you to know that I'm here for you now and in November. What does that mean? Have you thought about the future? Certainly sounds like you have. In, in regards to Eli, I mean, the, the election's right around the corner and he's hurt, weak. The, the reformers of alleged corruption. I mean, you've seen the articles yourself, right? All I'm saying is that I'm at your service. Castle. Must have been quite stately last time. I was at the picture show. Which one? What I didn't trace. What was the plot? Are you sure you want me to ruin the ending? We can do this all day. This feels like we already have it. Hello, you are proposing hello. that on the night of January 17, 1920, you were in a moving picture show from 7 p.m. until 11.30 p.m.? That's right. The running time of the film is only 78 minutes. Well, please. You have a child out of wedlock. Is his mother not fit to marry? That's not even business. What's the name of the way I'm actually in the movie? Books, skin, books, something. You're not sure? 
We're engaged. We're going to be married. Your aim at making her a respectable woman. <laughs> mm. How do you know Hans Schroeder? I don't know Hans Schroeder. Mr. Schroeder? Margaret? I don't know these people. Lucy Dancer. She's a dancer at Zigville Follies. You know her? Chucky's girlfriend? Then what is the relationship between Mr. Thompson and Mr. Schroeder? You want to know who Nucky Thompson's fucking? Why don't you not scared? This shipment of alcohol that Mr. Thompson sold to Arnold Rothstein, the shipment that was being transported the night of January 17th. What are your tracks? How do you know Al? I don't know me, Al. From Chicago? You got it all mixed up, officer. Did Mr. Thompson have Hans Schroeder murdered because he's in love with Schroeder's wife? The men in the woods, how many did you kill? I went to the movies, I fell asleep, I got up, I walked home, I went to bed, you want to charge me, charge me. I got nothing else to say. I thought you might find some satisfaction in living long enough to see your son grow into a man. You don't got anything on me. Don't I? Nice to see you, my young friend. Billy? Jimmy? Jesus Christ. They were just send me up the river, Jimmy! What'd you say to them, Billy? Fucking run away! What did you tell them? Billy, what'd you say to them? Get him I've seen you speak. You comport yourself very well. When is that? At my birthday, with Senator Edge. Oh, that was merely banter. He's a United States Senator, and you wiped the floor with him. Anyone looking for troubles, family to me. Seriously, would you be willing to speak on behalf of the party? <laughs> Do you not wish to rest well? What do you mean? Do you not wish to rest well? I mean, you are. Whatever you are. All right. Ravelli. Madame Junet knows what suits me. She knows how to make me look pretty. She's the only one I trust. That's why you want her to stay in business? Good in the first place. I'm out before I buy you. how selfish I was. Rebellion. You! What do you think you're doing? Hello? Today? Ten minutes. Hello, Hello Morris. Morris. She talked to you too much. She's aware of the situation. Delessio's to being back by Rostin and Luciano. From the horse's mouth, the channel spilled it to me before I was arrested. Okay, you brought me up. I've counted murder. There's no bad. Give me a lawyer, at least. What? Talk to him. Plus, 
strategy. It's a waste of money. Revenge. Call my dad. Can he help? Your dad? He has nervous. This kid. So he's gonna testify, Nuck. So I heard. So I'm staying here. Is that what you're saying? You said you were gonna take care of this. I am. All I'm saying, the legal system's not your ticket to freedom. Uh, yes, I'm still on the line, operator. Sir. Nelson, I was at a command meeting. What's the hub up? We've arrested James Darby, sir. What? When? Last night. He returned from Chicago. Did he talk? No, but he's really had his accomplice. Either way, the road leads to Thompson. Wonderful, Nelson. It's terrific. It's a real shot in the arm of the Bureau. Thank you for your confidence, sir. Revenge. He was pleased. Very much so. Congratulations, sir. I didn't do it alone. It's shameful what you've done to him. Man needs to have the courage of his convictions. I knew we'd get Darmody eventually. You were right. This witness, Billy Winslow, you think it's safe to keep him here? What'd you have in mind? Move him north pending trial? Federal jail in Manhattan, maybe? Keep him out of Thompson's reach. <laughs> Jesus Christ, will you see a doctor already? Stop it, is a mule. Shut up and get him a drink. I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> you look like shit. Uh, time comes, you just have to. Except your situation. Are we talking about you or me? This Fletcher and these fucking Democrats. And your sheriff is out of commission now, too? It's not so easy, is it? Nice that you can still find joy. Five years in jail, and you're playing me. One of us have to go, you knew that. I had no choice. Neither did I, which is why we made a deal, so let's put it to bed where it belongs. We're in trouble. I hear Bacharach, he's weak and losing ground. He's a fucking dog, he's sick. Well, what do you have on Fletcher? Nothing, he's clean. What does he want? He wants to be mayor. <laughs> fucking boy scout. Somebody else from here. People will change, give it to him. Or at least pretend to give it to him. What do I do about Eli? Place him too. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I'm dying. It's no time to be sentimental. Well, I still can't decide. You, every dress is a joy to behold. They're all so plain. I'll need something special to wear to the inaugural. After Warren is sworn in. I think for now, though, just something to wear around town. I do so love this. What was in space is excellent. How much is it? Four hundred eighty dollars. I'll try the yellow one on again. Yes, ma'am. You have rescued me. Merci beaucoup. 
<laughs> I'm glad I could help. First day you came here to myself, I say, this is a lady of taste and judgment. Une amie très, très, très compatissante. You told me I smelled. Pardon? You said I needed to bathe more often. No. I was as useless as the Polish girl. Until now. No, no. My English still sometimes I misspeak. I am grateful, Marguerite. Very grateful. You know that's what's about to happen. I'm always going to get sniped. Well, hello there. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. Shouldn't have done that. Lunge for my weapon. What are you talking about? Lunged at me. Tried to commandeer my gun. What? That's why I killed you. He just smashed himself. <laughs> that is too funny. Optimistic. Yeah. He's staying in Europe. 
Did he say why? His response was a wire. Surely with your husband home, your financial burden is eased. You'll have other chances. When? I'll make some inquiries, but honestly, your style is around the shape of the table. Be sure to be sure stop, stop by whenever you're about. about. He said to me, it's dark out here. I wish I had a lantern. I said, me too. You've been munching on the grass for the past ten minutes. <laughs> Speaking about, he said, how come you never tell me when you reach a climax? Well, Ernie, I said, it's because you're never around when it happens. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being an opportunist. In fact, it's a great plan. That's a glad rash The Boulevard Project. You were Johnny on the spot with those. Good Christian, family man, well liked in the community. Very impressive. <laughs> what are you looking for? The other shoe. Right now, I'd like to sing a little number for you called Some of These Days. <laughs> You were this point. That's a glad rock moment. You won't be disappointed. Yes. That's a glad rat comment. Of course not, Edward. I can't sing. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by when you have a mayor. If you was boss, I'd have more authority as street sweep. There's a lot more time to run your construction business. It's time for a change, Ed. You're a solid Republican. What about Bacharach? Mayor Bacharach is still. He will not be seeking re-election. What's wrong with him? I'll make my diagnosis as soon as I have your answer. Discuss it with Catherine. Be decisive. Roads, hospitals, convention center. We can build great things together. Of course, we'll have to add a ball field onto that list. 1920. The world belongs to the young. We'll let them think it does. Here, it won't be. We roll that around on your side. I'll be in touch. Let them think it does. Hey, Edward, baby. You roll that around on your tongue. Oh, 
from the car seat. You should have let him. No, sir. I had to go myself, sir. It's almost four hours drive to Manhattan. I had several cups of coffee. I stopped the car, relieved myself, then unlocked Winslow's handcuffs. In other words, you dispensed with protocol. Not to so would have meant unbuttoning his trousers and, and touching his Johnson with your fingers. Yes, sir. So in service to your own modesty, you ended up killing our witness. You will not be told again, Nelson. Nothing in his demeanor led me to believe that he'd attack me, sir. But that was a fellow. Anything else to say? I know I fouled up. But killing that prisoner... It'll haunt me for the rest of my days. You acted in self-defense. You've been exonerated. <coughs> Sleep, get some rest. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. That is all. Have you any idea, Nelson? The embarrassment this incident has brought upon the department. I take full responsibility for Winslow's death. So that's fine, Nelson. That's precisely where I placed the blame. I told you I wanted numbers, arrests relating to alcohol. Winslow's confession is a direct link to Nucky Tops. Winslow is dead. His confession is useless hearsay. I'll have another crack at Darmody. Darmody has been released for lack of evidence. Thompson's lawyers are swarming like hornets. He committed murder on a direct order. God's sakes, man, you have bungled this from the start! You hungry? It is coming down out there today. It's crazy. A lot of snow. It's gonna get a good price. Eight inches, it looks like. We're gonna probably be able to make a big, build a big snowman. Yeah, if the mama gets back, we'll eat. We'll try to go out for a little bit. See so how long we can survive out there. 
The advent calendar? No, no it has more bags. What is it? The advent calendar. Advent. 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 Advent calendar has more bags. It has 24. Yeah, because there's a prior bag for every day. Yeah. It, it's the new regular set she got me. She got me. Like, I'm gonna make some breakfast. Can I for you? I'm not yeah. Gonna yeah. I'm gonna make some eggs. Guess what? I perfectly made them. Like a snow face or a dog. Uh, a dog. Where's Gwen today? Gwen's over sleeping on a cousin's. That's why I want to sleep over at Arya's. So it's only fair. What do you mean, what's fair? Just because she's sleeping out doesn't mean you have to sleep out. Where is, um... Is Ari around? She's the person who's watching me tonight. Unless Mama doesn't go to this thing. Unless she doesn't, but she probably might. Punch. Dad. Yeah, felt it. Dad, do you have two blankets on your bed? One? I know I'm not in trouble when I see one. Because this one stays on. Uh, Revelio. Revelio. Not much there. Not much getting revelio. Wait, are you gonna fly when you get revelio? Oh, revelio reveals things. To these, to these things, so that uh, like I just did the other one. I don't know if there's one under there, but I think there is. things that were crawling. Those those vines, it makes them move out of the way. Oh, can I get one here? No, 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 no. no Lumos. Lumos is a Lumos. Yeah. It's all magic, kid. Lumos. Nice. Where is that? Lumos. 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 Lumos.
what time is it right now? So then it was nine something. Here we go. <laughs> All right, there's the other stone right there, I think. And I think I saw the butterflies over here. Yeah, you did. Lumos. Why do you have to do the Lumos? Because the Lumos attracts, they're not butterflies, they're moths. My, my Lumo spell is a light spell, and it attracts the moths to my wand. Then I bring them over to the other spot, solve the riddle. <laughs> Boom. It's not, it's not nighttime. It's not really good reason to use light. Well, except to attract the moths. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me? No, it did not unlock a new area. It just simply, um, Searle, uh, it's a, they're called Merlin Trials. They're these different things that are all over the place, and you can solve. They're like riddles they have to solve. Why is there a gold thing? That's the path I have to go to to my next quest. So if you if you follow that, it's a it's like a little way you know like a road map basically to. Use your blue, 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 blue. Why can't you just teleport there? What do you have to do? You can only teleport to the flu flu flames, they're called. Are they flu flames? Yes, but there weren't any right, you know right where I was going, so I it was easier to just fly there. Everything else. What do we got? Nothing. Shit. Oh, no, we got a ball. Okay. Alright, so that big ball has to go somewhere. There's usually... Alright, hold on. Let's do this. Oh, that's your blue. Wait, is that the blue I choose? There it is. Alright, see that circle there? No. Right down here? Actually, no, I can't. You didn't see it? Oh, where is it? Right there. That blue circle right there. See it? It's a big circle right there. Oh, yeah. We have to get that ball that we just saw to go down to there. By how? Put it on a broom and... No, put, we've got to put it on the path. Just push it, basically push it. Watch, you'll see. We have a spell where we can go. Oh no, it's this one, sorry. Oh shit. What if you fall in it before the ball does? Not a problem. I might even have to readjust it. It might not land in the in the bowl. Sometimes it bowls past it if it's going too fast. Nice. So that's the other Merlin trial all taking another Merlin trial all taken care of. That was quick. That one wasn't bad, right? That one wasn't bad. Agreed. I said it don't do do. All right, we want to grab this thing real quick. I am making a noise. A band of long ago, no doubt. Nares likes to roll, roll, roll. The Nares likes to? Yes. Not wrong. The dog likes Revenge. to eat snow, but our dog doesn't. Our dog likes to eat snow. It's cute. It's not cute. It's not good. No, I might stop. I bet you a lot of dogs like to eat snow. See this thing right here, the green things? Those are the flu flames. 
I just walked. I just walked to that one. I thought the green rings meant you are did them. It means I've been to them, yes. So that means it, so I can use them. Yeah. All the green things that you see, that mean that's all the places I can fast travel, like teleport to. Sprayed it with what? Um, disinfection stuff. Oh yeah, well you saw. Yeah. So it can um, so it can. So it can be clean. Yeah. Okay. That's alright. And guess which one it was. Uh, I don't know. It was not Baby Yoda. Rebellion. Oh, I'm gonna spray. Baby Yoda's just not even finished, so we can't spray. Okay, and also, Baby Yoda's not really, um... Uh, sprayable. Merlin himself would be proud. Merlin himself would be proud. What are you doing? Smashing them out. You darn where to care. What the hell are you doing? I'm staying in the bed, but I fell off it. I Wait, can you take fall damage in this game? Yes, if you fall far enough, you can die, yeah. But if you push the right buttons, you can make your kit, your broom come out before you fall, yeah. That's pretty good shape. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Merlin trial. I know what that means. Merlin trial. <laughs> I know what that means. Rebellion. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Merlin. Man. Well, it's like a little gazebo, so yeah, it's supposed to be taller than people. <laughs> Mom, what if it was shorter than you? Wait, what was she with me? The gazebo. Would your head be touching the ceiling while you're sitting down? Yeah, I mean, of course. It'd be kind of silly. Huh? It'd be kind of silly, right? I mean, you want to be comfortable in the gazebo, I think. It's kind of a place to go sit and relax. It's too tiny to touch the ceiling with my head. Too tiny to touch the ceiling with my head. Okay. And I'm bigger than Gunk. Did Gunk get a bath? Why does he smell good? Mm. Might have got a bath like that. Did you get a bath like that? You're not actually it. literal bath out there. You just got wet and then got dry. Tracy's going to kill me for the walk. He's going to kill me for a walk. Oh, nice to see you. 
see you, my young friend. Seems quiet. Too quiet. I'm running away. Let's do it. Bye, Okay. Revenge. Who lived here, I wonder? What's that? Settle Got it. over the ticker racing results by wire soon radio i'm told will transmit news stories within minutes of their occurrence it's the age of information and the business of the business dies on its value he's lucky i create my life I'm successful here. 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 I'
have come from the game. Like the world series. Put the fix. I employ research. <laughs> Have you been listening to a single word I've said? Sheer and utter incompetence. Sure. An innocent tourist, no less, and you've tipped my hand to Thompson. Boardwalk at night, do it in public. We figured it sends a message. You sent the message all right, but you're idiots. Devil's food. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'll kill that prick myself, Mr. Rusty. We'll bring you his head if you want. Your grandstanding is commendable, but I have to say, I'm less than convinced. We have bad information. Like you said. Someone. How can we make it up to you? I come here. I'll tell you everything I know. 
and still shoot my ass if you want it. But I hope you don't mind if I have a taste. Good news just isn't the same without it. And if I don't want to be some earlier. Does that mean I shouldn't try again? Well, it's a special occasion. That it is. Vote. You've caught up with that at last. It's your country too, you know. <clears throat> You're aware, of course, of all the Republican Party has done for social progress. Emancipation, prohibition. We backed the women's vote early. Because you saw an opportunity. A simple thank you would be fine. Thank you. Sunday at the League of Women Voters luncheon, Mayor Bacharach will be announcing that he won't be seeking re-election. I'd like you to tell the ladies why Edward Bader should be his replacement. And why should he be? Because he's the right man for the job. The owner of a construction business. Who's going to help me build great things for the people of the city? But how does that qualify him to be mayor? Andrew Johnson was a tailor and he became president. Wasn't he impeached? That's completely beside the point. What am I meant to say? That it's time for a change. That it's a new Republican Party. The cronyism, the incompetence, the violence in our streets. All that's a thing of the past. Is it? What do you mean? If Bader is elected, what happens to the county treasurer? Me? I'm not going anywhere. Who would control the new mayor just like the old one? I don't control anyone, Margaret. I'm more of an overseer. For this city to work, for business to be done over the long haul, there needs to be cooperation, continuity of leadership. As county treasurer, I provide that continuity. Fletcher and these other Democrats, they'd be starting from scratch. You're asking me to lie about Bader's qualifications. I'm asking you to be realistic. This isn't some fantasy world like in one of those children's books. It's a real place with real people. And sometimes, to make it run properly, we need to tell those people what they want to hear. This is important, Margaret. Not just for the Republican Party. It's important for you, too. This is a top look. This is what we got you. They cook you off one of those incubators. Wrap you up in a diaper. No one took you home. You're falling, me. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Tommy. You want some taffy? That's Mommy's kitchen. What'd you say? Mommy's kitchen. Kiss in front. Bitch. Jimmy, what's wrong? Ask your son. I'm going to turn very soon. Like a statue in a museum. Jimmy, Jimmy, why are you doing this? Jimmy, stop. 
Do you not feel that's old enough to be held accountable for your actions? I know the state does. It's why they got reform school. All of us who have heard anything spend our net on unlearning the follies of our youth. Gentlemen, we're about to begin. You should wear a yarmulke. What's wrong with this? You're a man, yet you wear the cap of a boy. Baruch ata Adolai, Elohenu melech haolam, Asher no samdanu toras emes, Mechaye olban nata besochenu, Baruch ata Adolai, no sen ha Torah. Baruch shaptorani meonsho shelozeh. Meyer Lansky. That's the kid who came to see you. He told me his name was Michael Lewis. So he doesn't have to change the monogram on his shirts. He's in cahoots with Arnold Rothstein and his family of Dagos at a Philly. Charlie Luciano, too. You know the boys who start to? Among other things, they shot at him. They were not successful. Why are you still here? If there will be nothing else. Like Give to your hand. I slender in the ice box. I want you to meet with Lansky. Think he here will arrange it. Tell him you accept his offer. What offer? Whatever offer he makes. Tell him you're unhappy. No, he's not treating you right. That shouldn't be too hard to believe. You're lucky to be alive, you fucking Polak. Promise them. As much liquor as they want. I tell them they'll need all their men to haul the load. The idea is to get as many of them in the same place as we can. Remembering, of course, it was me. Set it up. So, uh, when all is said and done, what you fix to do about Mr. Rothstein? I'm going to make him the richest corpse in New York. And go to my love. I assure you I do so with a heavy heart. But behind my sadness, there is also great pride in what we have achieved as a community. And, and a great optimism. It's perfectly natural to be nervous. Just remember to breathe. It's not nervous exactly. Did you eat a good breakfast? Okay, no appetite. It'll be fine. First time I had to make one of these speeches, I was a wreck. After a while, you can get up there and sell snake oil. There it is. It is now my great pleasure to introduce Mrs. Margaret Schroeder. Surely an immigrant to this great country 
a former parlour maid could have little to contribute to political discourse. But when I heard I was to speak in support of Edward Bader for mayor, I put my trepidations aside and decided to speak to you from the heart. I first met Mr. Bader socially in his capacity as head of the city's largest construction firm. Mr. Bader is quite literally a builder, a man of great vision. Where other men see an empty lot, he sees a hospital. Where other men see an overgrown field, he sees a school for our children. And most importantly, perhaps, where other men see shop girls and chambermaids, Edward Bader sees voters. <laughs> The gave right also comes with great responsibility, a duty to use our power wisely, to elect men to office, worthy men, who will put the interest of our citizens first. With us as a foundation for the vultures, our new mayor can do great things for Atlantic City. And who better to start with that foundation than a builder himself? I give you our next mayor, Mr. Edward Bader. Mr. Lewis. 
No offense. That was before Mr. Doyle here told us how unhappy you were. And now that we know, you'll be our contact down Atlantic City. I'll play your cards right. You can buy a packet for every day in a week. Tomorrow late, we'll send trucks. For money, too. Sheriff Halloran come November. Eli's not there. Harshly. 
truth is, your obsession frightened me. People find it disconcerting. It's unfair, and I'm sorry. You should judge the person on the other side. I can't do that myself. So why should you be able to? Sometimes I forget what I look like. Then I pass a mirror. Then I remember. I stare sometimes at my face. I can't recall how I was before. This here, Mr. Mylanski. Say hello to Nookie Thompson. How do you do? You've already met, actually. They shot at me on the boardwalk. You're confusing me with somebody else. There's another Dago walking around with dog shit on his face?
Why didn't you tell me it's the motherfuckers that lynched my boy? Because I had to confirm it. I got all the confirmation I need. There are four more brothers, Chalky. Plus Luciano. How are we supposed to get this out now? Mr. Thompson, may I speak with you? I know we've only recently met, and my word doesn't count for much. But if you could see your way to letting me go, I'm quite certain I can work out an accommodation with Mr. Rothstein. Mr. Rothstein made his bed. Now you fellows can die in it. <laughs> Tough talk when he ain't in the room, huh? What'd you say? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you heard me. What I said was you, Mr. Thompson, and this coon here could all go fuck each other. Right. Fucking tough guy, you gonna shoot me from mouthing off? I wasn't going to, but you kind of talked me into it. Anybody else? Jesus Christ. What are we doing? Leave me to dump the rest of the garbage. My brothers come back. They're gonna string your pipe and they did that other fucking one. Here I come. <laughs> if any dark wizards come around Hogsmeade, I'll <laughs> If it thinks it's got half a chance, where will it be on you like that? I can't imagine how much of it. Come on in and have a look around. No touching if you have sticky fingers.
I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by. It's a pleasant surprise.
Dean. <laughs> Here's one Dad, what do you need? Professor Shaw mentioned. Did you just ask for something?
you were the artist. Yet you managed it anyway. Deception requires complicity, however subconscious. We want to be deceived. Do I have to do the best? I'm a magician. I saw your brother do that straight jig again. Hey, the top of the guard for you. Five feet of fifty. Principal to say. That's all the real friends. Eric, the media is ignoring me. Used to do bad escape behind the ghost box where no one can see me. Playing it out in the open with my eyes. Well, that's much better. And no, no can't see me. As well. It's no small feat for a grown man to slip himself into that attempted to try and course the field. I'm sure Mr. Hardeen has had occasion to help many women escape from those. The most challenging trick of all? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Doesn't anybody here read a goddamn newspaper? I know. You know a fucking room. There are ladies present. Sir. I don't give a fuck, man. You fucking fool. The Italian fellow I told you about at the boss. He was arrested. Charles Ponzi? He was a swindle. From start to finish. He was enough to deliver him. He took me like some out of town Jasper. Every shell game needs a mark. Nobody the jig can guarantee a return like that, Terry. Dead. I'm sitting here right now. What do you need? Upstairs? Could it be? I'm not for trial. Half the teams have done. These players. Rebellion. Not so tricky after all, Alan. I couldn't find a place to settle. I couldn't find them. It's a 
You're not going to meet him? 
Yeah. Yeah. game's very cloud with the fucking pork chop. Like, even in my four wheel drive, it's, it's such heavy, thick snow. Yeah, like, you can tell it's real wet and sticky. Tra- it's so slushy and thick, so whatever's not getting like perfectly, like, fucking cloud, it's like snow. You slide all over the road. Well, maybe we can't I'll reach out to Ari to She was held too. Hush! This will see you through the summer. Come on, let's just skip to the part where you say you're doing it. Rebellion. Rebellion. Right, after the tears. I made my tears too, I'm so clipping. I'll keep that one. Never forget who owes him what. He's generally a good principal. Lewis. I remember on her stash and bit of punk. I know. Did you mention I already gave you this job? I guess we're both a soft touch. I'm myself so proud of it. Rebellion. I suppose. 
suppose the whole affair has always bothered him. Do you remember how long this used to be? I told the doctor that I'd meet him at your father's house. No one deserves to die. Loomis.
He's quite jaundiced. Is he urinated? The chain will pop in empty for days. Something wrong with every old ass body. Of this gathering? You don't have to go if you don't want to. Most of these women were against suffrage in the first place. Not too big on immigrants either. How did their own ancestors get here? Daughters of the American Revolution. Why, they grew in the ground like pumpkins and marched off with Washington to Valley Forge. I'll do what's required of me. Not really the right answer. What answer would you prefer? What you saw. What you thought you saw in my office yesterday couldn't have been more innocent. Annabelle is far from innocent. And I dare say you've some experience yourself. We had a relationship years ago. It meant nothing. I was helping her, Margaret, that's all. The way you helped me. I thought she was your friend. So you wouldn't fuck her? That language does not become you. Yes. You'd rather I be demure. I'd rather be rational. Meaning what? That I say nothing about what I see, what I hear. What have you heard? That you are capable of anything. And who told you that? Agent Van Alden. Well, if you didn't tell me about it, it couldn't Rebellion. have been very upsetting. You may sit my stomach. This whole arrangement does... What arrangement? That I'm to accept what you tell me and ask nothing more. That I aid you in the business you conduct and pretend <coughs> I don't know what that business is. I don't recall you ever saying no to anything I put in front of you. You make a little noise every now and then to remind me what a good person you are. What a good person wouldn't be here right now. You don't know what I am. I don't? <laughs> this is what you do. After you lie down with me, you go in there, wash your body with this poison. Like any whore. I would have a child. By me? By any man! That's not your right to decide! What should you care? We're not married. Do you expect 
that I would give you what? An heir. Is that what you're asking for? Luma. And that's why you chose my husband. What are you talking about? You knew nothing of him until I came to you. You made a mistake. What purpose did it serve to make me a widow? Are you too hot? Your idea has gotten into your head. Your punching days are over. Well, you have been, haven't you? Not a word about this man who beat you. Hello. Who murdered the baby you were carrying. Who you loved so very much. I have not lost one second of sleep over what was done. Neither have you. You won't be needing that anymore, will you? Good Sir? Yes. Sir, you got a business. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Uh, way out. I'm sorry. I'm just waiting. I don't even know what I'm doing here. You're here. Be your mother. It's your duty. Jockey, Mr. White, got back from his men in Philadelphia. <coughs> he saw him. Mr. Delasio, the mother is there. The sisters. And another brother. Which one? Adrian. Never heard of him. He's a dentist. Um, I can go with that. Where? Philadelphia. What is that? They're lying low. Somewhere else. Um, I'll kill them. What do you have in store for me this time? The sisters. And the dentist. I would make them stick their heads up. You want your test? <laughs> Rebellion. What's he do all day? Sits there. He's upset about the house. It's a miracle it didn't happen sooner. Lumos. Lumos. This was a fire trap. So you lady friend. <laughs> Tell me about this route. It got very ugly. I fight with Juno all the time. We go out to the shed and make sure the kids don't hear. The mouth on her. Be surprised. She knows you might. She suspects you mean. Revenge. 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 Luma. Yeah. You didn't tell her. What? I didn't deny it. 
fuck are you thinking? Lumos. I wanted to hurt her. What do you think these are for? It's not who I am. It isn't? So, um, you deserve it. I guess I'm probably a that bad, but... It's me. Yeah. Why, look that different? Yeah, but with my beard wasn't gray. My gut from what you don't know. I'm down, Eli. You, it looked different because I never saw you like that. Once you get selected. What do you mean? I don't remember seeing you all like that when I was a baby. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I let my hair grow out a little bit for a while and then I cut it. It looks like a fur. You know those things? Did you create head? a what? A fur. That's what she does. Like a toupee? Yeah. 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 That's how you think. Yeah. That's you think. Yeah. This is my life. It's crazy. Is that? You that's your old time. No, that's uh, I think it's an Adidas shirt. Just a long sleeve T-shirt I had. I think it's an Adidas shirt. It's crazy, huh? No, it's too bad he didn't see Hardini the other day. What? It's an entertaining act, but if he wasn't Houdini's brother, nobody'd give a fuck. Hey. How's he? Well, he made it through another night. I'm surprised. How much money do you think he has? Your father? I have no idea. But it's enough to live comfortably, that's for sure. I should hope so. It certainly doesn't seem as if he's wanting. No, it certainly doesn't. He talked about what would happen if he dies. I don't know what you mean. He said you two were close. Well, close is a Look, Ma, it's fine with me. It really is. Whatever you want to do. Revenue. The other day I ate a cookie at his house and it made me vomit. Oh. And this morning, I felt this tucked down, hidden in his rubbish pail in the kitchen. Fifty bucks, the fella says. Peter Stuyvesant fell at 24 from the entire island of Manhattan. Yeah. But Manhattan just lays there. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Minuit. Uh, Peter Minuit bought Manhattan. Okay. <laughs> Get your fucking facts straight. Is it a joke? You think it's funny? That's the attitude. The most lack of attention to detail is fucking killing us. I'm sorry. This no, is no, the no, toughest no. election in my life. You're standing here telling jokes. I'm sorry, Doc. You think Fletcher's over there in a Democratic club doing a fucking vaudeville routine? Well, he's not. He's out there shaking hands, trying to steal the election out from under our goddamn noses. Why not? Democrats? People know who they can trust. People want reform, women especially. You've seen the papers? Corruption, violence, gunplay on the boardwalk. I'm making a change. We have a plan to meet the future head on. Ned Bader here will be a big part of that. But he can't do it alone. He'll need a strong arm if he's going to be swinging for the fences. A strong arm and clean record. That's why with great regret and much gratitude for years of service, I have this day accepted the resignation of my brother Elias Thompson for the office of sheriff. Elias out? What the hell's going on now? I just told you. Well, yeah. Deputy but... Haller, the star is yours to wear if you'll honor us so. Well, sure I will. Thanks, Nucky. I won't let you down. And God bless us all. And good luck on election day. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck.
used to have always on the film. <laughs> Yay! Paris. <laughs> 